What is up, everybody? Pokepack Ripper back at it again. And today we are going to be getting into some more mystery pack goodness. We have two of these Vault City third edition. You can see the edition three here that we're going to be opening uh, towards the end of the video. Um, let's go over a little bit of what we can get here. Um, now I have the odds very much in terms of like what we can specifically get. So 50% is going to be black, 33% is going to be red, 10% silver, 5% purple, and then 2% is going to be a god pack, which is one of each color. You can see on the back here that 50% is going to be sword and shield, scarlet and violet, and a Japanese. 33% is going to be Sun and Moon, XY, um, and Japanese as well. 10% um, is Black and White, Diamond and Pearl, um, sun, sun and Moon, XY, Merge. So 10% could be all Sun and Moon, XY packs. 5% is Wizards of the Coast, Harkle, Soul, Silver, or Platinum Era. And then that 2%, as I mentioned, is a God pack, which is one of each era. Um, now, I know I've seen Vault open these when he dropped them. The five Sword and Shield Scarlet and Violet packs are definitely packs that are a little bit more desirable. So I'm excited to see, obviously, if we can get anything specific. But we're going to warm up in a little. Um, we're going to get to those in a little bit. First, what we're actually going to do is we're just going to open some uh, Scarlet and Violet base set packs. Um, I have this set fully completed, so I'm just going to be opening these up to see what we pull. Maybe we get some doubles. Maybe we put stuff in our trade binder just to give me a little bit of a... Uh, warm up since we only have the two vault city packs well i'll go relatively through relatively quickly through these maybe we'll get some art rares maybe we'll get a uh, special illustration rare but as i said i have all of these um all of this whole set completed so really just opening up some cards as you know this is a this is a channel where we uh where we rip packs so that's what we're going to be doing giving the code cards away as per usual um, so yeah, this is actually, I'm really excited that I got this today because, um, this was actually supposed to come on a Monday and today is actually Sunday. So I'm excited that I could end my weekend. No Sunday scaries over here by opening up these, uh, Vault City packs. My dog is currently whining outside of the, the room where I'm filming, filming, but luckily he'll calm down in a little bit, maybe. I think that Poke Gear is pretty playable, so I'll put that on the side to see if it's um, worth anything. Code card for everybody there. Before I also get to the Vault City packs, I'm going to be doing a relatively large PSA submission through my local card store, the Poke Court. Um, so I've done su a submission with them before. What's up, Dan DeMouse? You're not mouseful, but you're still pretty cute. I know that Arvin is super playable as well, so I'll put that to the side. Um, Greebird, so nothing, <laughs> nothing really so far. I literally just pulled aside a uh, reverse hollow Poke Gear and an Arvin. So we'll see what else we get uh, from these warm up packs. But as we as we can see, we're really trying to keep our luck for the other packs. There's another Arvin and a Karaidon EX, so that's our first pull. Put that to the side as well. I remember that Karana actually, I pulled so many of them when the set first came out. And because I'm not playing Scarlet and Violet, I don't really know about like, you know, the big characters, but who knows, maybe in the future, I'll get Scarlet and Violet um, for my Switch. Mastiff, we have the Chansey, and then we have Annihilate ending up. There's the code card for everybody there. So nothing super crazy, but I'm perfectly happy with that, hopefully. We're saving the hits for the for the end. Um, so I just wanted to show y'all, I'm gonna be doing a, um, a video where I reveal the grades for these cards whenever it comes back. So we have two of the Kingdra EX um, promo cards from the Kingdra Premium Collection box that we opened um, last time for Shroud of Fable. We have two of the King Gambit boxes as well. Um, we also have two um, uh, promo cards. So one is the regular Pokemon, uh, non-Pokemon Center version of the Charmander um, Backstar promo from the Obsidian Flames ETB. And then the other one, I guess this one is also, I definitely meant to put a uh, Pokemon Center version in there, so I'll have to go and grab to see what that looks like. This is a Kabutops Hollow that I pulled, I mean, a while ago. Um, I didn't pull it, but I, I bought it in a stream and it was pulled. So I've been meant to grading it for a while, so we'll see what that comes back. 
We have some Galarian galleries that we don't need for our collections. We have the Cynthia's Ambition, GG60. We have the Pikachu, which is the secret rare from um, just a regular Crown Zenith set. And then we have a couple of the cards that I pulled um, from the Neo um, uh, Neo Genesis box break that I did last weekend. So we have the Bayleaf and the Kalava. Unfortunately, didn't pull uh, a hollow there, but excited to see what those come back at, as those were. They were pretty clean, maybe an eight, maybe a nine. And then the last two um, that we have before we're sort of the big one is the Greninja from the Greninja Premium Collection uh, promo um, box. And then this magic art that you've seen here, but I pulled, um, I bought from a guy off Facebook Marketplace. And so bought it for a pr pretty good pricing. I bought it for like $65. So excited to see, you know, what it comes back at. It's definitely not like the super cleanest and there's some, there's some stuff on the, um, the corners, but we'll see. I'm excited to just have it in a slab because it's such a cool card. Okay. So now that we're warmed up and we have those happening, um, we are going to get into these two Fault City packs. Um, as you all know, I pretty much rip every single thing that I have on this pack as I did with the Pokerev um, 5.0 um, 5.0 uh, Mega Bonus uh, packs. The only thing I will not rip is if I pull a black and white pack and I don't have it as part of my sort of all black and white booster pack set. I will not do that. Ooh, we got a red, so we got 33%. And as we remember, red is Sun and Moon, X and Y, or um, Japanese. So we're definitely going to be ripping that open. Let's see what we got in terms of the pack. So Brilliant Stars, uh, Crown Zenith, Fusion Strike, Silver Tempest, and then we have a Shiny Treasure EX Japanese. So we have four Sword and Shield, and then... Um, you know, one of the premium sets, and then we got the Poke Vault. This is my first time getting Vault City packs, and then we'll get into this at the at the end. I'm gonna move this other Vault City pack aside so we have room. So let's see what we can pull. We definitely have some opportunities here in Trainer Galleries. In a few of these sets, we'll just go straight through these. Um, we have the Reverse Double Turbo, and then oof, starting off first pack magic out of the Vault City packs, we have a Rainbow Sharon's Care. So we'll put that to the side. There we got the uncommons and the code card for everybody. So, I mean, listen, I know like some people really like the rainbows. Some people really don't, but you know, first pack magic is first pack magic. And then we're going to get into Crown Zenith. As you all know, we're trying to uh, complete the Galarian Gallery. So we'll see what we have here. We've got Bidoof, Mr. Mime. We got a reverse era aura. And then, wow, that's crazy. We got another secret rare Pikachu. These packs are straight up hitting, so that's awesome. Let's take a look at that one. The back looks pretty, honestly, it looks pretty good. Maybe I'll submit both of those. So I'll put that to the side as well. Carnivine and then the code card for everybody there. So two for two? Yeah, I guess we really are, um, we were saving our, our stuff. We got Fusion Strike, who knows? Maybe we'll pull an alt art. You know, Fusion Strike does not have um, a gallery, so definitely won't be pulling everything there. But we have Indeedy. Let's see what we got. We have the reverse grub in, and then oh my goodness, three for three. I mean, it's a Mew V out of Fusion Strike, so we're going three for three. Okay, Vault, you're getting us this stuff. So there's the code card for everybody there. Wow, that's that's wild. So we're three for three out of our first three packs. Can we keep this going? I tell you, my, my luck for the last few videos that you've seen has not been the uh, best. So I'm excited to see this coming out, especially from these Vault City packs. So let's see what else we got. We also, this is, so I don't see any notes. So you see in Bravery. And then, ah, first non hollow. There's the code card for y'all. Um, all right, so we're three for four. Three for four. So we got Shiny Treasure, which, uh, as we know, is the is the um, Japanese version of Paldean Fates. So let's see what we got. Maybe we'll get a shiny. We got Toad School. We got the Starmie, Scoville and Hollow. We got a reverse Finizen. And then we got, as you, um, I don't know if y'all know, but in Shiny Treasure EX, EX is guaranteed. So we'll count that a hit because it's an EX, but you'll get your guaranteed if you ever want to get into this set. And then we got the uncommons there, obviously no code cards in the Japanese. And so we'll get into this red. So what do we think of this is gonna be? So we know there's XY, Sun and Moon, also some like older era Japanese. So 
let's see what we got. We have Burning Shadows. <laughs> okay, so definitely not like the most valuable um, Sun and Moon, but you know, we, we can pull a, pull a um, Charizard. So I'll probably do, I'll do the pack trick on this one just because um, I don't actually know. I'm going to go straight through because sometimes with Sun and Moon, the like code cards are behind. So we got Charmander, maybe you were Evolve. We got Porygon here. Oh, Meryl, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's that um, crocheted style that um, Sato Ito uh, does. So we got Hoot Hoot, Gen 2, we got Rhyhorn, a little Gen 1. We have a verse, Reverse Shenotic, and then, ah, Malamar, because that's Burning Shadows. Let's see which way the Kokar, okay, the Kokar was the right way, but yeah, that green Kokar, oh dear, let me know what y'all get. I'll put that Reverse to the side, because it's like, I mean, it's not vintage, but it's 2017, which is honestly like really crazy. Okay, so out of the first um, Bald City pack, we got um, we got a reverse. We got a red, of course, so that's pretty cool. We got a Chen Pao EX from um, from Shiny Treasure. We got a Mew V from Fusion Strike. We have the Secret Rare Pikachu, and then we have the Rainbow Charon's Care. So, like, honestly, I will take that 100%. All right, so we're gonna leave those to the side. And we have our second Vault City pack. Let's see what we got. And we got black. 50% chance to get black. So that makes sense. We got two packs. One black, one red. But I'll, I'll take that. So we'll put that to the side. We got a different sticker. So we got a Vault City sticker. I'll make sure to put that on my binder. Let's see what we got in terms of the packs. We got Fusion Strike with the Gengar on the front. Another Crown Zenith, which I'm super happy about. Brilliant Stars can get that Charizard. We have Lost Origin. Maybe get that Garatina. And then we have Silver Tempest. So all... All sword and shield, um, all sword and shield packs. So that's really cool. Maybe I'll do them. And if I get this order wrong, please do not. Um, I think it lost origin came before brilliant, so I'll put those in order. But we have crown zenith, which can get glare and gallery, trainer gallery, and silver tempest, brilliant stars, and lost origin. And then we got a good old fusion strikes. We'll see what's in this black pack out of the vault city. We'll see if we can continue to see our. And we got another Brilliant Stars. So we'll put that uh, in with the Brilliant Stars there. I'll tell you one thing, these packs are a little smushy. All right, so let's start with, we'll go left to right. So let's start with Fusion Strike. I really don't think that we can, oh yeah, it was going the wrong way. So we'll go straight through these, see what we can pull from Fusion, Reverse Adventures Discovery, and then a Kangaskhan. Regular hollow, obviously that white code card. There's the code card for y'all again. So nothing out of that. Lost origin, you know, obviously we're searching for the Giratina, but honestly, one of my favorite cards is that Trainer Gallery Pikachu uh, V. So we'll go straight through this one. C Dot, Tynamo, Sui and Growlithe. We've got a Porygon, and we got something, I think it might look like a V Star. So we'll see what we got here. If it it's stuck to the card in front of it, the Porygon. So, Giratina. It's not the Giratina we want, but still a pretty good card. I think this is like a, maybe a 5 or $7 card, but the edge edge on it is a little uh, hollow bleedy. So, we'll put that to the side there. And then we got White Coat card, which was a lie. We got a Giratina V-Star, so you lied to us. There's a Coat card for everybody there. Don't you hear when the Coat cards lie? All right, we got our first of two brilliant stars packs here so i've been obviously i'm opening these up i really do like these uh all these code cards are backwards so i'm glad we're not showing it we definitely got something here we have the spirit tomb and then yeah oh i haven't pulled this one so this is the mimic uv from the trainer gallery so the brilliant star trainer gallery that's sick and i think we have one behind it wow double banger semi seer v from uh, brilliant star so we're doing pretty well on these black code card. Of course, there's the code card for everybody there. So if there are any um, mystery items or sort of these mega bonus that you yourself don't necessarily want to um, buy and open, because they are pretty expensive. You know, these I think are like $58. Obviously, you have to pay for shipping and everything like that. Let me know in the comments, because I'm happy to like keep buying these and opening them up so you can sort of see what they're like. We got our um, Hollow Bosses orders, so that's pretty cool. And then the code card for everybody there. I don't know why, but I'm gonna put this Bosses orders to the side, because I feel like it is playable still. I don't know if the F series of Brilliant Stars is still like readily playable, because I mean, that's 
that's all the way back like two two years in 2022 so all right so we're gonna go into our crown zenith i think i honestly meant to open this last but what are you gonna do maybe we'll get a gg um we got a Pontiard, whalmer pokeball corefish enamorous and then charizard v okay this is like a five dollar card as well so we're definitely pulling like those sort of mid-tier lost vacuum there's the code card for y'all and we'll end up with the uh, the Silver Tempest. So a little bit of a shorter video, generally. So I hope y'all enjoyed. Definitely some cool stuff to pull. Honestly, that Secret Rare Pikachu was probably the favorite, my favorite thing that we pulled today. But that Mimic UV, I'll still roll this so we can see what, if there's going to be like a V or something in the back. So um, definitely exciting. Um, the Mimic UV was pretty cool. We'll go through the hits before we end the video. Sandy Gast. Relicanth, we have a Halucha. Noiva, a little dragon type, and then we'll end on a non hollow Verizium. There are the uncommons for y'all and the code card. So honestly, I'm pretty happy with this. You know, it's only two of these packs. And so the fact that we ended with a Charizard V, we'll lay these out. That Mimic UV, I've never seen this one. I also don't know like how much it's worth. Simi Seer V from that uh, double banger pack. We got the Giratina V Star, obviously out of that white code card, that line code card. The Pikachu, the Secret Rare from Crown Zenith. We have the Rainbow Charon's Care, the Mew V from um, Fusion Strike, and then the Chen Pao and Shenotic, um Reverse from uh, Burning Shadows. So pretty happy overall with the hits that we got. Let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Likely going to be doing some more booster box openings if I can get my hands on some um, Twilight Masquerade booster boxes. I will. Maybe I'll even open some more um, uh, Shroud of Fable if I can get my hands on some, like, non... Um, maybe when the ETBs actually come out. But we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.